It had to be walking this way. You see it? Dixon, it comes at me. You watch where you shoot that thing, okay? I think I see some blood. Is there blood? There's Buck, up ahead. He's signaling. Cut through the trees to see what he wants. Uh, I didn't crouch down, so I might have made too much noise. Best you crouch to keep quiet. Busted up. Nothing can be done now except ease his suffering. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Daryl, come here. We gotta work up a plan. We gotta work up a plan. Daryl, come here. Have you ever seen anything like that? If you told me about it, I'd call you a liar. Listen, there's more of them coming. We gotta go. Yeah, the only thing we gotta do is kill every last one of them. Daryl, I know you're upset, but just listen. That sounds like a whole lot of them. We need to go now. Gather up as much as you can and meet me at the truck. Let's go then. Daryl, remember what we learned about him. Head trauma. Attack the brain. Remember, only thing we know that kills him. And be quiet sneaking out the back door. Don't let him see you.
করছে Get a move on, Daryl! Not a damn thing. My phone ain't working either. Hey, about your dad? I don't know what to say about it. Then don't. Leave it be. And we gotta tell Merle what happened. Yeah, I suppose we do. But we ought to warn people first. What? Go to the cops? <sighs> Please. We gotta go get Merle. <laughs> Merle, he's... Well, he's just not right. What you say to me, old man? Merle's ten times the man you are. All right, all right. Just seems you boys turn hay into shit when you're together.
driving through that. We're on foot from here. Ah, boy. Bet them psychos came here, too. Yeah, maybe. Town circled their wagons, you see. Looks like a DMZ. If there's any gas, it'll be at Lucky's. Huh. Power's out. Come on up here and talk a minute. Use the ladder. Near th Not set up. Jimmy Blake, last standing officer of the Sedalia SO. Go for you. His cycle's all over this place, too. The biters? Yeah, they're everywhere, man. Where have you been? Up in the hills, hunting. Didn't know nothing about them until they tore up our camp. Still don't. Uh-huh. Let me bring you up to speed. More of them come every day. We help each other survive, or we don't. That's it. Normal rules suspended for the foreseeable future. That applies to good guys, and to, uh, hunters. 10-4? Yeah, I get it. But who's we? The kid holed up in the gas station, and the deputy in the cell block. He's interesting. I want to do one last radio check before bugging out, though. Well, then do it. The batteries went dead two days back. Can't find fresh ones. If you can, I'm happy to supply a little bird's eye coverage. I'm a hell of a shot. Batteries? Okay. I'll keep an eye out. I need gas, though. I think it's long gone, but the kid would know better than me. We'll talk when you finish the nickel tour. keepers. Something you want? Huh? I ain't standing out here playing bait all day. You got a car? You need gas, right? I can get you gas. I'm Warren. Daryl. It's a truck. What happened here? The eaters happened. Me and my dad holed up here with Uncle Lester. The town held them off okay, until we lost all the cops. All but Blake. Uncle Lester? Lucky Les? Yeah, the same. He and Dad went out to see who was left. I don't think they're coming back. But Uncle Lester has the key to the generator cage. And that's how we get the gas pumps running again. Right. You get the keys and crank the Jenny. I use my codes to turn on the pumps, and we get out of here. Win-win. You're coming with me now? I'm not staying here, buddy. We got a deal?
Hope you still got that Jenny key on you, Les. That's it. Big thanks. You got it? Yep. All right, good deal. Uh, open the Ginny cage. Uh, are my dad and Uncle Lester behind you? Just get the pumps on, okay, Warren? Oh. Okay. It's all ready. Open the cage and hit the primer. Go! What you think I'm doing, Jess? Let's start the damn truck.
Fuck, I need some help here! My name's Sarah. I was cutting hair when they first came. Fought my way out of the salon. Scissors, if you can believe it. I was with a group, but they... I'm on my own now. Give me some food, and I'll come with you. I can't believe this is happening. Thanks. Running from those things really took it out of me. You really pulled my ass out of the fire just now. Could be worse for sure. She ain't gonna make it. We gotta pull off, find a new ride. Mm, don't much like the idea of stopping at night. It's too hard to see. Yeah, we ain't got a whole lot of choice. Can't be too careful until we know more about it. Yeah, that's true.
another cop. I'll handle this. As soon as we score new wheels, we're out. Yeah, I'm on it. I'll whistle if I turn anything up. Hi. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. A little tired, maybe. Been a long day. Real bad. Damn massacre. You picked a rough place to stop. Campground's a slaughterhouse. Yeah, I hear you. But my truck's done for. Yeah, I see that. Albert Lee, Pemberton Sheriff's Department. Daryl Dixon. You think you can give us a lift? Eh, gotta get them over to Memorial, if it's still open. So then can you set me up with one of these? Sorry, man. No keys. Tell you what, there was a ranger, Hartwell. He was driving back to his station. Looked like he had plenty of room. Here, take this. I wish I could do more for you. Hey there. Here's a ranger's car. Not bad.
Hello? I don't see no ranger here, lady. I was just talking to him. Who is this? I'm Daryl, the guy you just scared the crap out of. Where are you? I'm at a motel in Pemberton. I'm... There was a deputy here with me. He's dead. Uh, I'm using his radio thing. They're right outside the door. Can you hear them? Keep it together, Elizabeth. Stay quiet. They can probably hear you. No, no. Ranger, come help me. Come help me, please. Lady, Elizabeth, there ain't no ranger. Full up. No, nope, no more room. No, nope, no more room. Yeah, I earned these. All full up. Jess, don't worry about wiring it. I got the keys. Jess? Oh, Jess, no! I'm looking for you.
Finders keep. This is lousy with eaters. Something's got a boat up. At least it's a little quieter. Locked. 
get through this. Thanks. From both of us. He bit? Uh-uh. Gunshot. Some crazy asshole is sniping at us. And car alarms. I dragged Noah in here. They followed. Who's us? You two? Got a whole team out there. Or did. We scavenged supplies for the local survivor camps. There's survivor camps? Um, yeah. The military supplies some of them with weapons, meds. There's a big one at Cherokee Hill Sawmill. We were doing pretty well until that psycho sniper showed up and brought a whole mob of fighters down on top of us. We got split up, pinned down, killed. I need to get my people together. One of my runners, Mia, is holed up in the theater across the street. Help her out and I'll make it worth your while. I'll trade you one of those. Lots of goodies in there, hillbilly. Just tell her Scout sent you. I'll think about it. Mia! from me, you asshole. I ain't the asshole you're worried about. Who are you then? I'm a different one. See? Not me. The scout asked me to come look in on you. You know Scout? She sent you? Yeah, she's across the street, in that diner. Oh, thank God. I thought the shooter... Every time I put my head out, he's all over me. I lost all my gear, so I'm pretty much trapped. The theater's locked up tight since they started loading corpses in there. Exit's blocked, and there's a bunch of them. There's a half ladder down. Clear the way and I can get out and back to Scout. Let's do it. Gotta get over to the police station and get my brother anyway. The police station? But that's where that killer is set up. You think your brother's even alive? Yeah, I got my suspicions.
Hey, Merle! Where's the king of the monsters? Psycho shooter. Oh no! Sneak it up, are we? No, no, no! You're never gonna take me back there! Oh, come on, Merle! It's me! Merle! What lower than impersonating a man's long lost baby brother? You're just trying to gain false entry! That's what you're doing! Damn it, Merle! I'm just gonna leave you here. Keep your pants on, sweetheart. I like this place down pretty good. Them people lock me up for days in the dark with all them abominations. But looky who's just a little bit too smart for them. Bro, you're stir-fried from the sun and the booze and whatever else you've been into. Uh, I do feel a little warm now that you mention it. Spring myself, see? Established my 
little sniper's nest right here. And then I commenced to send them soldiers a packing. I rang the alarms, calling in the abomination. Man, those aren't soldiers down there. Just some scavengers trying to help people out. They don't even know who you are. They're in uniform, ain't they? And they came to take me back to the hole. I'm not going anywhere but Jake's, and that's where you're gonna take me. Come on. Let's go, you ape. Guess I gotta lug your thick ass back across town. Man, you must be running over 106. My chair! Yeah, it'll be here when you come back. That's what I need. This one of these.
Merle, man, I gotta tell you something. Something happened, bro. I got it. Full bore, flesh-eating apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, but we were up at Jess's camp house when the, when the eaters came down on us. We never heard anything about them. They tore us up. Jess and me, we were the only ones to get out. Where's the old man? He was up at the camp house, too. He didn't make it, bro. He did? The old man's dead? You let the abominations get him? Did he turn into one? Did you let that happen, too? No, I... We gave him mercy. What did he say? What did he say? He said, uh... He said... Tell Merle I'm proud of him. Merle? <laughs> what did he really say? I need some methicillin, some penicillin. Better yet, make a mice. Well, you stay put. You just slow me down right now. <laughs> the hell I would. But I was thinking of kicking my feet up. <laughs> 